Hello and welcome to Huten Pantai. I'm going to have a quick look at the contract system that looks a little bit different to me just before I start doing a new map first day play on this map. So let's just go into the into the interface and immediately we can see that the map looks different you can still you can still zoom in you can still move around you can still get growth soil composition etc we'll look at this in a little bit more depth somewhere along the line while we while we're playing through the games. So new crop calendar, animals, and then down to the contracts. And you will notice that the contracts page looks a little bit different. What I do like is you've got a nice big map showing you where the field is that you're going to be working on. Um, at the bottom, you've got the normal borrow items, accept, next menu, etc. And then you've got whoever you're going to be working for, the contract information, and then the leasing costs, which farmland, and I'm not quite sure what penalty per tree is. So also you will notice that there are a lot of contracts which are now standard which we didn't have in fs22 for argument's sake deadwood hoeing i can't recall hoeing being an, a normal contract rock removal stone picking weeding and we seem to have wood transport so we've got lots of different types of contracts that you can do so that's really good so it gives you a lot more Diversification if you're doing a contract type role play, a contractor type role play. You've got the normal fertilizing as well. And I really do love that the map shows you exactly where it is. Well, it's not exactly, it is exactly where it is, but it's not showing you the whole map. It gives you a, a fairly good idea of where it is. And of course, the size of the field. As you can see there, it's giving you the least cost, which is normal, the field type, and the size of the field, so 3.3 acres. You can then work out a lot better whether, you know, what size equipment you need, first of all, and uh, also um, how much uh, product you need. So hoeing, it's quite a big field. Now, there's a time next to each of these. So in this case, 49.54. So I'm not quite sure whether that is now the time that you need to, that you have to complete the contract. That's what I think it is, or whether that's how long that contract will be active for. But I think it's, I think that contract needs to be completed within 49 hours and 54. There's a penalty per tree. Reward per tree is 150 pounds. Penalty per tree is 2,000. I presume that's if you cut down the wrong tree. Um, I do believe the trees are marked, but we'll we'll check those out in all de in in depth. I just wanted to show you how different this page looks, and more importantly, how. How many different contracts now i know that you can do bailing for argument's sake so there's bailing on field four so i'm going to accept one of these contracts let's just see i'm trying to see what the well if the the time limit or the time that it has on the on the tab in, ca in this case farmland 4 14 14 hours 18, so I pre presume 14 hours and 18 minutes. 
And I am presuming that that is the time you have to finish the contract. So let's accept that contract. We can do it by borrowing items. We can just accept it. Let's just accept it in its purest form. Okay, so contract, contract successfully started. So that's A, we press A, okay. And then we go, you can, in the past, you used to just scroll to the top and you would see your active contracts. Now you, you need to go up to the top part where it says new and scroll to a different page. And you'll see there we've got two contracts active. So we've got Farmland 19, and farmland four and they're both showing the same amount of time and that has dropped a little from from where we started so it, it would appear that this is to do with the time limit you have to complete the contract so let's go into Game settings, let's speed up time. Oh, where are we now? Speed up time. So this is interesting, see how fast we can speed up 120, 360. Okay, so it's still basically the same amount of time. Of course, we don't have any of the mods yet to be able to speed it up any further than that. So let's just go back into the game and see what's happening on the contracts so you'll notice at the top under the top right hand bar you've got your progress on the contracts zero percent on field four and 19 and that's even though we don't have any any vehicles working on that so let's go back into the contract contract screen so we had 14 hours yeah so you can see it's dropping down so we were at 14 hours when we started we know nine hours 28 for both contracts so i presume there's a certain amount of time to do different contracts because as if the fields Farmland 19 is a lot smaller than Farmland 4, so that could be a possibility. In any case, we'll catch you in, in a little while and see what happens when we run out of time. All right, so we have 1 hour 25 left. We've got, we're running this on 360, so it should... 360 times speed, so expired. Right, so let's just... So it has expired. We've had to pay the lease costs. So we don't seem to have experienced any penalty. So we, on that one there, we leased the equipment. I actually didn't show that to you. And on that one, we didn't. So yeah, it just expires. So there's no penalty. That's a bit of a, I would like to, to have been some sort of penalty. But it could also be on things like potato harvesting and that you could be halfway through the contract and have expended a lot of time and it will expire. So something to be to be aware of. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little infomercial. If you have, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.